200 babies slide from their artificial wombs into fleshy, gel-filled pods. How I wish they could stay in their amniotic homes, but we need them, and today it's my turn to keep watch. A tear forms in the corner of my eye. They won't live long. They won't be remembered. And yet they're the next link in the long, expanding chain of evolution. In the womb, we manipulated them and, unlike the rest of us, they know what it's like to be one of our ancient aquatic ancestors, an armoured fish, one of the placodermi brought back from extinction. As soon as they enter their pods, this new batch of boys and girls, full of ancient instinct, begin firing their neurons. The gel translates and transmits the signals to the tech we've implanted in the re-engineered placodermi that protect the fragile coral. Our babies drive the fish at the bottom of the ocean. I pull on the watcher's headset and immediately I'm as immersed in their world as they are. I love watching them ease into their new environment, from artificial womb to the pod and the deep sea. I only wish I could keep them safe. I can't. In the distance, sediment from the ocean floor is disturbed. The first attack of the day has started. It might be today's first, but they've been attacking for a hundred years, and although we know they come for the coral, we don't know why. We only know we must do everything we can to protect it so it can regrow. A solid mass of enemy crab bots churn the ocean bed as they approach. Our babies turn gracefully inside their sinisterly beautiful virtual bodies. You could be forgiven for mistaking the choreographed shoal for an underwater ballet. But if you were their enemy, you'd be cruelly deceived. Up close, the hard, scaly bodies and sharp teeth reveal what a formidable foe these ancient fish are. What an excellent choice of ancestor to bring back from extinction. It's horrible to hear the painful cacophony of crying from the pods as these gorgeous babies prepare for the attack, despite their deep-rooted, instinctual fear. An enemy crab bot drifts away from the pack and propels itself slowly towards our brave shoal. It sinks to the floor and edges sideways. I saw this the last time I was on watch a couple of weeks ago. At first it was one or two, and then the whole pack made a sudden shift and scurried along the ocean bed. About half of them made it through and began mining the coral before being torn apart or chased away by our babies. A high-pitched scream pierces through the crying from the pods. One of the placodermi dashes towards the crab bot faster than I've ever seen. It opens its jaw and clamps down on the bot with a twisting movement, slamming it into a nearby rock. The scream reaches a fever pitch. And then the bot explodes. The screaming stops dead. The feedback loop from fish to gel to baby must have transferred the trauma from the explosion to the pod. The gel seeps out into the drain and the pod opens. The baby boy is dead. It happens. I hate it, but it happens. A loud alarm reminds me that I must harvest his sperm and get it to the lab before it's too late. We need more babies like him. We must protect the coral at all costs. Thank you. Thank you.